In this video, let us solve problems based on distance between two parallel lines. All right, here we are. Uh, it says uh, find the distance between parallel lines 3x minus 4y plus 9 equal to 0 and 6x minus 8y minus 15 equal to 0. So we've got uh, two equations, two lines that is 3x minus 4y plus 9 equal to 0 and 6x minus 8y minus 15 equal to 0. So the formula to find the distance between two parallel lines is given by mod of c1 minus c2 divided by square root of a square plus b square. But you do see that uh, both the equations have different values of a and b. So you have to change one of them to either change 3 and 4 to 6 and 8 or change 6 and 8 to 3 and 4. So I'd say let us multiply the first equation throughout by 2. Then, you know, we get to change it uh, to 6 and 8. So multiplying the first equation, let's say this is the first equation, this is the second equation, or this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Multiplying the first equation by 2 throughout, we get uh, 6x minus 8y plus 18 equal to 0. So in that case, it makes the a and b equal, right? So in this case, uh, C1 becomes 18 and C2 is 15. So we have uh, 18 minus of minus 15. So that is plus 15. So mod of 18 plus 15 divided by square root of A square plus B square. That is uh, 6 square plus minus 8 the whole square, which is nothing but mod of 33 divided by uh, 6 squared is uh, 36 uh, minus 8 the whole square is 64. So 36 plus uh, 64 is 100. So square root of 100. So we have uh, 33 divided by 10. All right. So 33 divided by 10 is the required distance between the two lines 3x minus 4y plus 9 equal to 0 and 6x minus 8y minus 15 equal to 0, which are parallel to each other. All right. So a very uh, simple, uh, fundamental and a straightforward problem to solve. You just have to use this uh, expression here, which is mod of c1 minus c2 divided by square root of a square plus b square. And um, another thing is, uh, well, it was not as direct as uh, for you to, you know, uh, have the a and b value same. So you had to change either this equation to this or this equation to this, especially the values of a and b. So you, uh, you also could have divided this equation by 2 to get these values. But I chose to multiply and that's the only difference. But uh, what I uh, suggest you is uh, you go ahead and try dividing this equation by 2 and then try. And I'm sure you'll get the same answer, which is 33 by 10. Alright, so that ends uh, this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on distance between two parallel lines.